Oh, well, here comes something already. Rain and warmer temperatures right. are sure signs of spring. Sportoad's here. And with it come the perfect conditions for the spotted salamander. For the emergence of a creature you might not easily notice on these dark nights. That's a nice little blue spotted. The salamander. You're keeping track of your numbers? Jim Andrews is a herpetologist at UVM. Make sure you do. He's been studying these amphibians for the past 23 years. Maybe we need another sheet out there because people are seeing lots of stuff. Now his work for the Vermont Reptile and Amphibian Atlas brings him to key crossing sites like this dirt road in Salisbury. Many of these salamanders are moving and they're going to lay their eggs in ponds and pools that will dry up. So they're in a hurry because they want to lay their eggs and have time for the young to develop and get out before the pond dries up. So I'm calling that a redback salamander. For the last 15 years, Andrews has been joined in these outings by groups of both curious newcomers and their dedicated parents. Do you remember what kind that one is? Oh, yeah, with spotted. Together, they're helping tally the number and species of each salamander crossing this quiet road. Well, I've been excited to do this for a while. My kids are now three and four and a half, and I thought, you know, they're finally old enough to, to, to do this. What kind did that one on you? One. one. You got it. I love just seeing the frogs and the salamanders and I'm feeling like I'm helping them out just a little bit while also taking some data that can help um, learn more about about amphibians. Five First two years it was kind of hit or miss we came here we I was blown away I, you know I found like six the first year I came and I thought it was awesome. Ten blue spotted we found over a hundred blue spotted salamanders in just a very small area and I think it's dwarfed by the number that other people have found in a very populated area up the road. Andrew says projects like this one help raise awareness. Similar efforts led Moncton to include special culverts in a planned construction project on this road. They help wildlife cross safely beneath the heavily traveled area. So cute. However, he says there's still a lot more work to do, and he's worried about the fate of some species. Sooner or later, the amount of mortality is going to reach the productivity of the amphibians in a that those populations are going to disappear. They need our help just as much as, you know, we need their help in the environment. I mean, it's a great, you know, cohesion. It's how we survive together. In Salisbury, I'm meteorologist Eric Weglars, NBC5 News.